Hi everyone, it's Anne from Anne Ellis Angels and I'm here with your angel card reading for the week starting the 31st of January. This is the reading for Aries and I'm using my teacup tarot deck. So let's get right on with your reading for a really positive week. So here are your six cards. And your overall energy card here is the page of pencils. And all the pages in the decks are messengers. And on each of the page cards, we have an envelope. Now the page of pencils card, the energy with this reminds you that there might be some delays possible. She sometimes brings information of a change of plan, a change of direction. The page of pencils can be a little bit tactless at times in their delivery. So just be conscious to stay alert for these messages coming in about changes of plan, about delays, and listen to the message, not the messenger, because this message is coming in to help you. Your help or your hurdle. The Three of Teacups is a beautiful card. This is the card of celebration. It's the card of happiness and joy. And look at the angels here. They're having some cake. They're having a celebration. They're stopping to have a cup of tea and they're having a great time. So be mindful as well that there could well be good news coming in. This could be in any sort of area of your life particularly good news after things have been stalled a little bit or if things haven't been quite going on as fast as you'd like them. Our guidance here, we have the five of pencils card. Now this card here reminds you to learn from your experience and here the angel look. She's hopped onto the bridge here and now she's crossing over the river. She's following new ways forward, new ideas and new plans. She's taking with her all of the experience that she's learned, all her wisdom from the past, and she's gathering all that. And now she's made her decision, she's on her way, and she's following these new plans and these new ideas. These could well be the based on the information that you have been given here. How can we help ourselves? We've got card number four, the emperor. Now the emperor is all about leadership qualities, organization, planning. The emperor energy is one of someone who will be very, very organized, have everything in order, everything in their domain is neat and tidy. They know exactly what they're doing. They know exactly where they're going. So planning and organization and leadership qualities are key information for you this week, key mindfulness. Pulling it all together, we have the Knight of Teacups. Now, the knights all come in with a very fast energy. All of the knights in the deck have motorbikes. And the knight of teacups is coming flying in, the gravel spraying up from the back wheel. And the message that the knight brings is to stay balanced. Stay emotionally balanced. Keep your work-life balance in check. Because if this lovely angel on the motorcycle here goes too fast, she's going to wobble. So she's just got to be very conscious, or he's just got to be very conscious to just take it steady. This might be a situation coming in quite quickly. And it's one that you need to think through from beginning to end. This energy can fly in and it can also fly out just as quickly. So just take your time, take that time for consideration, think things through and keep those emotions balanced and steady. And your final outcome card, 
we have the Nine of Wands. This card reminds you to stay determined, stay motivated and to keep going. And look at the angels here. They're both climbing the tree. This one here, she's nearly got to the top. All the leaves on the tree, if you look close enough, have the words keep going on them. Our lovely angels here, they have nearly got there and they're only going to reach their goal with persistence and determination. So this is the card that says, keep going, don't give up, stay motivated and all will be well. So just to summarize, Stay awake for any changes of plan, any delays, any changes of direction. Be ready for some social invitations to celebrate, some lovely celebrations and happiness coming in. And be ready to follow those new ideas and plans. Get that new way forward in front of you and be ready to walk towards it. And in order to help you do that, you must be organized, get your planning in place, make sure that you've got all the information you need. Stay balanced, stay positive, think it all through. Don't do anything in a rush, just go steady and stay motivated, stay determined, keep going and your goal will soon be in sight. So I hope you've enjoyed the reading. If you have, click that subscribe button, make the bell ring, then you'll get notified when I do the next one for you. So take care now and I'll see you soon.